What's up YouTube? So we've had some crazy, crazy news from the Marvel panel. I think possibly a year's worth of news has come out in just one little panel. And I say little, but this panel was huge. So let's jump in and have a look. So let's go with the last one first with Brie Larson being confirmed as Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel, which is just amazing and he's possibly one of the worst kept secrets in Hollywood. Now, I'm excited for this. I'm not really too much of a big fan of Brie Larson. I'm not seeing much that she was in personally. I liked her in Scott Pilgrim, but I'm not really a big fan of Captain Marvel. So Carol Danvers was actually in the Air Force and then in NASA. And after that, she was turned by the Kree into Miss Marvel, who had superpowers, which you may recognize the Kree from the Guardians of the Galaxy movie as well, which is pretty cool. So I expect them to turn up in this movie. And I expect Carol Danvers to turn up in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, perhaps. So then she was obviously Miss Marvel, like I just said, and then she turns into Captain Marvel after the original Captain Marvel was killed. Now it's unconfirmed as to what the actual story will be, what the plot will be. Will it be an origin story or will she already be? Captain Marvel. I'm pretty sure we would have heard of Captain Marvel by now in the Marvel Universe. So in more cast news we have Elizabeth Debicki playing Aisha who is the counterpart to Adam Warlock. She will be in the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 and well it's pretty cool because this character was created by the Citadel of Science and she's pretty much been created as the perfect woman and she just searches for a mate etc. So it's Interesting to see how they're going with this movie. In more casting news, we have Sylvester Stallone, of all people, turning up in Garden of the Galaxy Volume 2. Now, there was a little trailer where we saw his character interact with Yondu. Some people are saying he looks like he's in Nova Corps gear, but others are saying that he is in Ravager gear as well. So it's not known who he's playing, and they seem to be keeping that as a secret for now. So finally, we have confirmation that Peter Quill's father has been cast, and he will be Kurt Russell. Now, who will he be playing? Well, Kurt Russell will be playing Ego the Living Planet, which is one of the weirdest villains, I think, in the whole of the Marvel Universe. This is comparable to the Living Planet in the DC Comics, which is actually a Green Lantern, or was a Green Lantern. So this is absolutely mental. So the character actually became human for a day or the time it took him on Earth to bang Peter Quill's mother and he just wanted to be human for a day and that is how really Peter Quill was created and there's a quite a funny interaction in the teaser trailer which hasn't been released yet between him and Drax. So Danai Gurura who was in Walking Dead, who still is Walking Dead until we find out who was killed. Well, she will be in Black Panther, the film which is shooting next year, early next year as well. And she is joined by Lupita Nyong'o, who you may recognise from, or you may not recognise her from The Force Awakens as Mads. So it is pretty much, really, very heavily speculated that... They will play in the Dora Mill Aji, who are some bodyguards for the Wakandans. And you saw them briefly in Civil War as well. So I think this is one hell of a casting for that role as well. So it'd be awesome to see that in action. Finally, in the Thor Ragnarok trailer, which again hasn't been released to the public just yet, we saw the Fire Demon Surta who seems to be the one who will be fighting the forces of Asgard in Thor Ragnarok, which looks pretty freaking awesome if you ask me. He stands about 10 foot tall, has a huge fucking sword, and was one of the main villains in the Ragnarok storyline. So this is pretty much going to be, this is the Ragnarok, this is the end for Asgard, as we know it. But we've got Hulk in this clip, apparently, as well, jumping around, destroying everything as well. So... This is going to be pretty awesome. Lots of big news for fans of the Marvel Universe and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, 
We also had a Doctor Strange trailer as well that's been released, so you can go and check that out. And well, that's it for me for this video. Please do drop a like and a subscribe for all the best content. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.